everybody and welcome along to a brand new video where today I'm going to give you guys a little sort of update, shall we say, insight into the, my first month or six weeks or so um, starting at Chai Uni. So really I just want to give you guys a sort of a, yeah, a little insight into what it's like to be at Chai Uni, my first sort of month or so, how it's all been going, my course, living in halls, living in Bognor, what is Bognor Regis really like? I'm just going to give you guys a quick, yeah, a quick little whistle stop um, insight into what it's all about here. In terms of sort of settling in, I feel like I've kind of got used to it all fairly quickly, um, got into the uni life, the uni routine fairly well, lots of late starts, weird times for lectures, lying in bed till quite late in the morning, shall we say. Um, it's been a little bit weird to adjust to having worked a full-time job before this and getting up at six o'clock in the morning every day. That's been a bit weird to being able to have lions. Like, that's quite exciting, really. So I've been enjoying that part of it probably quite a bit. Um, but also getting stuck in with the work as well, of course, has been has been really good to find me just after a really long old wait, being able to get actually properly stuck into this course. Just in case you haven't remembered from when I've talked about it previously, I've um, been studying audio production and music technology at the University of Chichester down in Bognor Regis rather than Chichester itself. Um, my course kind of encompasses all things related to sound and sound technology, sound engineering through sort of music, audio, sound effects, sound design, composition, all these different areas. And I think I've been really, really enjoying it so far. It's been a really, really good start. We've got our uh, basically free access to a half a million pound recording studio um, on campus which is pretty damn exciting and means that we can just spend loads of time sort of whenever we like uh, of, of the sort of nine or ten people in my course just getting really stuck into a studio getting practicing doing recording recording lots of different instruments with different mics different voices as well and vocals and stuff and doing lots of mixing on it and just being having the opportunity to really get into this proper industry standard recording studio being able having the opportunity to just go into there on a daily basis is so fantastic and i feel like that's that's really just showing why i made the right decision coming here and why i'm so so excited to be on this course now because it'd be such a long wait and not be able to do this this sort of thing for such a long time to finally be able to do it just reminds me how much I really enjoy it um, and being able to work with the best equipment just makes it sort of the, the ideal place to do it I guess. Alongside that I am of course living in halls here in Bognor Regis, the um, Barbara Smith halls they have on the Bognor Regis campus at Chichester University and it, they're, they're reasonably nice there I'm up on the top floor so lots of stairs to climb up every day but but I sort of it, it all works fairly well the rooms are the rooms are nice enough they're reasonably big um, can fit all my stuff in here, not that I actually have much stuff, frankly. Um, but unless you saw my um, day one vlog, then maybe you saw I've got quite a bit of stuff. But in reality, once you put it in a room, it's not actually that much. And it's worked fine for me so far. Um, food's decent as well, nice, nicely catered, which is very handy, not to do too much cooking. That certainly, maybe I'm just a bit lazy, but that makes my life easier. So I'll take it for now, um, while I can get it for the first year, I think it's fair to say. So yeah, I've certainly been enjoying being um, sort of part, part of the halls, the halls of residence and, and meeting the people in my flat as well, getting on with all them quite well has been really, really nice. Um, and just sort of feels like quite a nice environment to kind of live in, I think, and also to be working from as well, of course. I also feel like I've been making good friends with people in my course. They're all, I'm all getting on very well with everybody. And it's, it's obviously, these are the sort of people I want to know going forwards because they'll all be doing the same sort of course as me, getting into the similar sort of industry. And so working together with these kind of people when means we have the opportunity to kind of work on projects, getting in the studio where one person can play an instrument, I can record it and vice versa. And just having those sort of connections, I think, has been really, really good. And it's just great that we all, it already feels like it's a very kind of good group of people people being involved in that course. Uh, when it's such a small group of us as well, there's only nine or ten, I think about eight or nine of us actually on this course means it's very focused, but we're all seem to be working really, really well together. So I'm really pleased that that's, that's been, been so successful so far, should we say. Um, and I think it's very much sort of given me a, a good opportunity to just kind of keep learning and developing and having people who are willing to, willing to help out and get involved where I am as well, of course. In terms of what I guess you would call sort of extracurricular activities or something, um, in terms of sort of stuff outside of lectures that I've been getting involved with, I guess I haven't been like stuck into loads of different things because I'm not a particularly sporty person, so the sports side of things wasn't really my kind of thing um, to get involved with so much. Having sort of seen that the Freshers' Fair and the different sort of societies often things like that, certainly sporty side was not me um, at all. Um, I haven't really delved that much into the music society as of yet. I might do going down the line. The one I have joined is the Christian Union, which I've been really, really enjoying. That's been really, really good just making friends in a society like that. It's been really, really good. I'm also looking at potentially getting involved with, if they do eventually set up the Motorsport Society, um, because I'm big into motorsport, race racing, Formula One, all that kind of thing, um, I'm very big into. So if that finally does all come to fruition, I'll definitely hoping, be hoping to get involved in something like that as well. Um, and it's good to just sort of be able to kind of meet people on different courses, doing different things, and just, yeah, make, make friends with them, get involved with them and do stuff with them. I think it's really, really good. So I've been kind of enjoying that aspect of it as well. And finally, Bognor Regis. I, yes, as I say, I'm down in the very south coast of England um, in Bognor Regis, which is, it, it's a quiet town, I guess you would say. It's, it's a nice seaside town. There's not really that much here. It's quite a small town. Um, it's got a bit of a town centre, but not loads of shops. And probably the, I, I 
without wishing to generalise the average age is probably quite high in an area like this. Um, but that doesn't really bother me and it's still, it's still a nice place to be even if it has kind of rained ridiculously large amounts as I got here despite supposedly Bognor being the sunniest place in the UK. I'm not really not convinced if that's actually true but I, I supposedly I found out that it was but it feels like at least 70% of the time I've been here it's been raining so that's a bit of a shame um, but it hasn't dampened the spirits too much I guess and I've still been reasonably enjoying Bognor even if I haven't really I guess had that much reason to explore it massively. Um, it's still, yeah, a nice a nice environment and a nice place to be in, I think. So yes, that hopefully just gives you guys a, a quick little insight into what it's like to be at Chai Uni, to be sort of getting started, how the first month, six weeks, eight weeks have been going of um, my course and just of the university experience for me, having obviously never done it before. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little insight to that. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos through the year and hope, hopefully the three years to come about university, what it's like and just focusing on different aspects of university life. But apart from that, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Remember that like button, that subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you again very soon for another one. Goodbye.